on the first Sunday of Advent, the church invites us to make a reflection on our preparation for the coming of the Lord through the Gospel of Mark, chapter 13, verses 33 to 37, the book of Isaiah, chapter 63, which is known as Trito Isaiah, and Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. In the Gospel text of today, which is taken from Mark's eschatological discourse, that is, the discourse of all the things which will happen in the next life, we are invited to do two things. And the first is, watch. Mark uses this word, watch, translated as, be on your guard. And what is important is, Mark ends the entire eschatological discourse with the same word, watch. And so the question is, what does this word, watch, means? Mark explains it at the beginning of the verses today, that is, be on your guard. And second, how can one be on one's guard? One can be on one's guard, by being in the now. That is the only way. The only way to be on one's guard is not to be a person of yesterday, not even to be a person of tomorrow, not even to be a person of today, but to be a person of this moment. Sometimes, when I write to people, I say, that you have not only a good day, but you have a good moment. Because we live life by moments. We live life by seconds. This is how we must live life. And this is what the Lord is calling us to when he says, be on your guard or watch. He is calling us to live in the present moment, to live in the now. Not even in the next moment, which is today. And the reason why the Lord is inviting us to this way of living is this. That no one knows the day or the hour when the Lord will come. No one knows. We have just been living through this tremendous pandemic all over the world. So many whom we never expected to go to the Lord have already gone. And we wonder what message the Lord is giving us through this. What is the Lord saying to us? Jesus said this 2,000 years ago. The Lord is saying, you don't have to worry about when you have to go. You don't have to worry about times and seasons. What you have to worry is about this moment so that if it were your time at this moment, you would be ready. You would go to the Lord willingly. Now notice, if you live this moment fully, if you live this moment as you are meant to live this moment, then there can be nothing in your mind and heart which you will leave undone, which you will want to hope for because you have gained this grace which the Lord gives you to live in the now. In the first reading of today, which is taken from Trito Isaiah, chapter 63 of the, gospel, of the book of Isaiah, Isaiah says, you were angry when we were sinners. This is how the Old Testament prophets would look at God. But Jesus has given us a new way, so the Lord will not be angry with us, the Lord will try to draw us back. That is what happens when we sin. The Lord will make us realize the folly of our ways and the Lord will draw us back. So even though Isaiah begins by telling the Lord, you are our father and our mother, you are our redeemer, that is how we know you, your ancient name is redeemer, there is still, you notice, the element of this barter exchange, that God will be angry. In the case of Jesus, there is no anger on the part of God. The Jesus 
God in Jesus invites. God in Jesus pleads. God in Jesus requests. Requests us to live in the now. So that we will be like the one whom the owner put in charge of the house. The owner might come in the morning. The owner might come in the afternoon. The owner might come in the evening in the same day. And that's why I said, we do not even live one day at a time. We live one moment of one day at a time. And if we do that, no matter when the Lord will come, we will be ready. Will you attempt the whole of this day to live one moment of this day at a time?